what if he would it count as sex <laughs> if he forced seed out of his peen, out of his Yoda <laughs> balls, into a, a whatever re- reproducing Yoda? Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready. Let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I am Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and CERN show once again or for the very first time mm. well cerny and i are you heard our disney plus episode you have you have and you know we're we're star wars fans. we're not super fans but not we're fans. fanatics <clears throat> we're not fans. fanatics fans abbreviated but we both have been <clears throat> watching the mandalorian on disney plus and I must say, I am enjoying it. I'm very much enjoying it as well. Now, there was one episode, I want to say episode two, I felt was a little slow where they, the, um, not Jawa, the Jawas, Jawas yes. stole part of his ship. His ship, yeah, that's right. That whole episode, I was like, it kind of seemed really slow, and I'm like, uh-oh, did like, they, uh, so my bad, uh, <clears throat> did they lose steam already? Yeah. Uh, but then the next episode, they came. They came right back. Strong. So the Mandalorian is a uh, uh, unique content from Disney Plus. Yes. And from my understanding, it takes place about 40 years or 20 years after Return of the Jedi. Yes. Okay. Because the Empire is dead, I believe. Somewhere, somewhere <clears throat> around there. Because they keep having Imperial credits and they whatever. They're, but they're no good. Yes. That's what they keep saying. Now, on Rotten Tomatoes, oh. can you guess the score? Uh, are we talking audience score or... Let me click on it real quick. The cred- oh. critic score. They are 1% off of each other. I am going to take a bold stab. 93. Whoa! <laughs> the audience is 93. The critics are 94. Wow. It's fucking good, man. I like it. I do love it. I mean, it's one of these that... I'm watching the the second it comes out. I'm like, okay, we got to watch the Mandalorian tonight. Like, I haven't yes. been that way about a it's show Friday for a night. long time. It's yeah. Friday night right now. Friday night, Mandalorian mm-hmm. night. So Cerny and I talked about this. The Mandalorian is like the Bobo Fett race, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, or this is tribe, the way. Or yeah, uh, I don't know. I guess it is a. I guess it's not a race. It's like the. It's almost like the the Elks Lodge, you know the it's like the yeah, club they're like a the Masonic, the Freemasons, <laughs> or something. Yeah, uh, the Elks Lodge. Yeah. Um. So I think the biggest thing about this is the fact that there's a baby Yoda. Now it is all over the meme universe. One, it's the cutest fucking little thing that there is, because Yoda in the Return of the Jedi, he's old. He's, he's got 900 like years old. Nine, he's old AF. Yes. Wrinkly AF. He's yes. got like his forehead looks like a uh, wind whipped concrete, like a bad laid, poorly laid concrete <laughs> and just shitty hair. And, you know, he's OK because he talks like, you know, does this little thing. Yes. But this baby Yoda is just too much. My wife. Literally every scene that Baby Yoda comes on, oh, he's so cute. Oh, my, like if th- if there was Baby Yodas at the pound, oh, we probably would have went and got one already. Adopted, we would have yes. got adopted one. Now, Which even I the Baby Yoda is fifty years old in this episode. So, if this takes place after Return of the Jedi, when he dies, do you think this is the actual Yoda or just another Yoda race? I'm going to assume it's another Yoda race or an offspring of... Another of offspring. Yoda. So how was Yoda getting the nut off? I thought that, you know, that was the whole thing about Ooh. Anakin couldn't get the nut off with um, Natalie yeah. Portman because it was like the Jedi way, sort of, like the, the Maybe Catholics. Yoda didn't follow. Maybe it was before he was an actual Jedi. What yeah. if his what if the Force is so powerful with him, he can fucking just force a baby Seed into... into. Yeah. 
Maybe. That may be the way. Do you think he could... What if he would account as sex... <laughs> if he forced seed out of his peen, out of his Yoda <laughs> balls, into a, a whatever re- reproducing Yoda? That would be... Mind-blowing. <laughs> so ch- uh, chapter seven is the most recent one that Cerny and I have watched. Um, I feel that this... I don't see why this doesn't go on for seasons. They already have two seasons, according to IMDb. According to IMDb, yeah. We're only in episode seven. Now, this gets me really excited for all the other original content that Disney has coming out. All the, yes. the fucking Marvel stuff. Imagine they can go... Han Solo and do like this whole Han Solo arc. Like there's yes. a mil- they could do a Chewy show. Like there's so many fucking avenues oh, they that they spin have. Off just another. I mean, um, yeah, they could spin off them for whatever. I mean, there's literally it's literally limitless. Because I was the Solo movie, um, which I thought was okay. Yeah, it was okay. It wasn't. It wasn't. Gr- it was okay. It was. It was yeah. just okay. That's all it was. It wasn't. You know. I probably would watch I, it again. Yeah, I would because at first people were acting like it was just a travesty. Well, again, because Star Wars, nerds. as we talked about before, these really excited Star Wars people get very bent out of shape if something's not exactly by the book yeah. or, oh well, in the book that you know I saw this one script that George Lucas wrote when he was thirteen and he had mentioned that this and it, you know it's yes. like these crazy fucking things happening. Yes. Yes. So. Uh, that you know, and sometimes it's kind of hard to get through that. Sometimes where you see just nothing but bashing. But then I watched it, and I was like, "Oh, this isn't bad. It wasn't great, but it was okay." Yeah, I, th- I thought it was good. Um, <clears throat> so I would watch more of The Mandalorian. Now I'm very. He almost got laid there for a second. That's true. That's true. From the other, the, the but he would have had to take <laughs> to get his helmet wet. He would have had to take his helmet off. It seemed. Ah. This yeah, is to wet his beak. T- to get his secondary helmet wet. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the downstairs helmet. Um, <laughs> it's assuming, yeah. So, I also saw a post that someone bought some Mandalorian Legos. Oh. And they're like, oh, they're keeping the thing very secret, and they took the helmet off, and the Lego head was just all black. Uh, it didn't even have a fucking face on it. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's fucking tight. They're going, <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> they, I know. They went all in. Now, as soon as I spoke about on another show, massive missed opportunity with the Baby Yoda merch. Huge missed opportunity. There would have been fucking beanies, hats. Plush toys. Toys. I mean, Funko Pops. Oh, oh my geez. God. They could have They, they, they would have slayed killed. Christmas. Oh, yeah. They would have won Christmas. They, they would have. Unless they know they're coming out with season two around Christmas next year, and they're uh, like, now we're going to be ready, and we're going to lay it on. Yeah, but is it going to have the same kind of charm? I don't think so. I don't know. So what? where do you think the Mandalorian, where do you think this is going? So we don't want to spoil it for anybody, but... No. So we won't tell you what happened in the last episode, but I don't... Actually, I don't know. It was a good How many episodes are there? Let's take a look. I don't want to get spoiled either. So be careful where you tread, Cerny, on the internet. It's a very dangerous place. (laughs) You can get on the dark web. Well, right now it just says The Mandalorian is in eight episodes. That's it. So, really? This is on IMDb? So. Okay. Okay. So are, we, are they gonna are they gonna do it as we go? Like the next week it'll be nine, and the next week it'll be ten. So it seems that they're keeping this shit under fucking wraps. Yes, Disney is locking it up. They're, this shit is locked down. So I mean, I would say if you have any interest in Star Wars and you're like, oh, I need a new show, I would sign up for Disney Plus just to easy, watch this show. Easy, it's actually it's good. Even if you're not an avid Disney fan, or sorry, not Disney Star Wars fan. It's still it's it's still a it's still a, a good show. Yeah, you don't really need a whole bunch of. There's not a whole back lot of backstory. You know. I feel like most people kind of know who Yoda is. Yeah, right? and then he has the Force, and he can do shit with. His okay, mind. yeah, you know, you should know that. So you know, if you don't, then where you been the last forty years? True, like it's been in the the pop culture zeitgeist for nineteen seventy. Yeah, for whenever uh, New Hope came out. 77. Uh, 77, thank you, sorry. Um, c- 
Carl Weathers is in there, who <laughs> I thought, <laughs> my wife thought was um, no, sir Billy thought, Billy G. Sir thought it was Billy D. Williams, <laughs> and my other buddy did too, and I'm like, no, that's I couldn't remember his name. I'm like, that's the guy from fucking Happy Gilmore. We we had it on. Uh, it was, we, we did it live. Remember where I was like, no, that's Carl. That Carl Weathers, Carl, Carl Weathers is Apollo in in Rocky. You're like, yeah, I know. And I was like, look, I was like, oh shit, I I made a mistake. <laughs> I, I've literally had the exact same conversation with two other people who think it's Billy D. Williams. Yeah, yeah. Which you know because he's so ingrained as Lando in um, the bounty hunters and all the sorts. Yeah, of other, like you know. yeah. I think he does. He does a good job. Uh, any any other. I, I'm liking the new, like badass sidekick that he kind of has. That that woman that he has. Yeah, she's yeah, she's cool. kind of cool. Yeah, she, she she does some good fist fighting. Yeah. Um. And they seem to be keeping pretty true. Now the thing that threw a lot of people for the prequels episodes one through three, well, me, I'm I guess speaking, is they introduced different technology. And like different ships and different oh, yeah. thing than what they had originally in later ones. And yeah. I'm like, that's really dumb because <laughs> you know, I don't I don't know. Yeah, that was kinda odd. It was like, oh, this like, look uh, at this new cool spaceship, but there's no reference to it in any other one. So like the continuity is just so taken yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. You 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 would um, actually maybe if you were like really into the stuff, I'm sure like if we do have some like serious Star Wars fans, oh, yeah. they'll tell us we're buffoons. We should have known this beforehand. Well, you know, I mean, I, we sure are. Buffoons. They say that in a, in a lot of episodes. Now, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I I thought it was good. I always find it interesting that they go. So the person who plays Mandalorian, the actor, is Pedro Pascal, and they're like after the scene ends. I like the ending credits where it's like the drawings, the sketches and stuff. Those oh, are yeah. really cool. So they show this guy, or they just show his name. And it's kind of funny. I don't know. I just find it funny that they're like giving him top billing, but you literally never see his never face. See his face. I, it my, could be any fucking, it could be you or me in the suit, my, right? My dad said they did like a cast photo, like, you know, on the shoot, on the set. Oh, and he had the mask, mask on, on still. Yeah. So they're just keeping to this whole thing. Now, what would be really fucking funny is if, if there's a red carpet thing that he just shows up and he has a mask on. With, with a tux. Yeah. That'd be great. That would be, <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be the ultimate. What other uh, stuff has this guy been in? Uh, oh, he's going to be in Wonder Woman. He he was in Game of Thrones. Oh, really? Okay, I haven't. Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? Like, like one or two seasons. Oh yeah, that's more than me. I watched one or two episodes, and I was like, eh, I'm not into it. I'm the only reason I'm into it is because there's titties. <laughs> and I'm like, I could see titties or bush this episode, so I'm going to hang in there. Oh, okay. But then some horse got it, beheaded and it upset my wife, so we stopped. I mean, there uh, there's a million shows to watch, you know. Yeah, let's say. Yeah. yeah. There's anyway. Teddy's a bush. <laughs> <laughs> so what, he wasn't really in any anything that exciting. If you scroll, are you, uh, Kingsman, Golden Circle, Whiskey. I don't know. I haven't seen the Kingsman. I, I heard it's they're pretty okay. Decent. It's like imagine James Bond, but times ten, like on the like hokey a, action. So shit. I thought it would be like James Bond meets like Wanted. Remember that movie where they were curving fucking bullets and stuff? Oh fuck, that was <laughs> it. It actually that's a pretty good description. Okay, that's that's, a, that's how I took it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I guess that's a good description. Like, but it's it, not like outlandish kind of thing. Yeah, there was a like everything out there is. You're like okay, you know, some crazy shit happens, but um, that's a that's a good movie. I would watch it. It's it's kind of cool just to see the. The style of it and everything. Narcos, The Great Wall. So he wasn't really in... He was Javier Pena. Pena, sorry. And Narcos for a couple seasons. So he's a TV actor. Yeah. And who's got a couple low... Game of Thrones. Okay. He apparently got murked on the last season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was in Homeland for one episode. So he's so been a TV actor would be, yeah. would be good because it's TV, TV, TV. Yeah, TV, lots yeah. of TV. TV okay. movies, TV series. Yep. So, I mean, this is obviously a pretty big role for him. His biggest so. by far. But then be. he's in that new Wonder Woman, so I don't know how big a part Max Lord is, but... Um, we'll find out. Yeah, we will find it's out. In pre- it's in post-production. 
But that that kind of happened too. Besides Harrison Ford and pretty much everyone in Star Wars, kind of was. Oh yeah, a bust. It was. Yeah. Besides Harrison Ford, um, like what was Mark Hamill in after? Like you didn't who see. Who fucking knows? I don't know. He he did the comic Batman voiceover stuff. Yeah, he he did. Uh, and Carrie Fisher was just you know head down a mountain of coke for a while. Yeah, until for Ray Brett. But then uh, uh, Peter or whatever the fuck Chewbacca's name was. Uh, yeah, Rip Rip again. Well, he's too tall to do anything yeah. like normal, you know. Unless they're doing a Space Jam movie again. <laughs> and the robots, I have no idea. So besides, yeah. besides Harrison Ford and then the voice, James Earl Jones, Darth yeah. Vader. Not much. Not much. Is it because you're such typecast, and or those things take a huge? <laughs> I think you know like, you can't do anything for like six years, so you kind of lose out on all these other opportunities. Or? Yeah, or I think like, so I think Harrison Ford he had another yeah, like American Graffiti and stuff before, so he had a, yeah. he had like, already had a career going. Did he do any Indiana Jones in between Star Wars, no. or that was all after the first one? I don't know. I don't Let's know. Take a look. <clears throat> Let's take a look. That fool has made some fucking money. So, what other Star Wars like spinoff would you be interested? in? Um, would you want to the see the bad guys are always more interesting than the good guys? I that think. would be like a Boba Fett or be, not Boba Fett. Sorry, because we already have one. Uh, Jabba the Hutt or I've heard Jabba mentioned once or twice. And right, I would watch that. Maybe some sort of like you know the one of the Sith, the like bad guys. They see how Ooh. like they go. Oh, that, would, that would that would catch my interest. What about a Jar Jar Binks? Uh, not imagine? so much. Could you imagine? The the backlash would be oh my it'd would be, be heavy. ruthless. Be heavy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they did like an Obi Wan Kenobi type I, I would watch type that. one, or even like a Qui Gon Jinn or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Kind of throwing it back a little bit. Um, uh, uh, what's the other Jackson? Mace Windu. Oh yes. All right. Uh, Indiana Jones franchise. So let's see. Am I supposed? To, are you mirroring, or you have three separate ones? I have three separate. Okay. I was going to mirror, but I didn't feel like that's fine. Feel like doing if it. you can't read that, that's fine. Um, so the first one was so Raiders of Lost Ark, right? Eighty one, nineteen eighty one. So that was in between. Seventy seven was New Hope, a New Hope, and I think eighty. I'm doing something to top of my head before I look it up. Eighty four, eighty three, eighty four was Empire Strikes Back. That long in between them? Yeah, let me see. Real that's hope. pretty. D- because did he have to get like new um, funding or some shit for that? So A New Hope was 1977. Okay. Released. We're talking about release dates. Very good. Empire Strikes Back. Oh, there's okay. an untitled fifth Indiana Jones film that's released. Oh, excuse me. Summer. So 1980. Excuse me. So 1980. So that's three years. That makes so sense. So there was two in between and then Raiders of the Lost So Star. he did Raiders and then he did Return of the Jedi. Yes. And then Return. And then... Um, I return of of the <laughs> Jedi <laughs> release date that was in the eighty three eighty three. So it was three years in between. Okay, seventy seven, eighty, eighty three. So after he was done with Star Wars, then he went on to do the last two Indiana Jones and then fucking Air Force One and Fugitive. He fugitive, and all that yeah. Shit. My wife loves that movie. Um, what was that? What lies beneath all that other shit? Oh yeah, yeah. Patriot Games. Uh, he did so many fucking movies. Oh, yeah. That dude's a bona fide star, <laughs> that Harrison Ford. <laughs> well, uh, I think you should chime in if you're really enjoying Mandalorian. And also, Cerny and I talked a little bit about The Watchmen, if you're enjoying that. Uh, sort of similar fandom, I could see yes. those having. But uh, if we're missing any shows or uh, you know, more than likely incorrect facts... Let us know. <laughs> yeah. Highly likely incorrect facts. You can let us know at Chip is Earn Show at gmail.com or you can uh, find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Chip is Earn Show mm-hmm. and uh, find your way to communicate and we will... It's not exactly overwhelmingly... Uh, we have enough bandwidth to handle all the messages? Yes, we do. We, okay. we have enough. So just go ahead and reach out to us. Mm-hmm. I'm sure we can... Uh, we'll find. We'll carve some time out in the day to... <laughs> Give you question. some attention. <laughs> so, uh, case 
uh, you know, in summary, get Disney Plus and watch The Mandalorian. Yes. It's a fan chip and CERN. We both give it uh, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. So it comes out every Friday, I think. Thursday, yeah, Thursday, Thursday night, Friday. Maybe. Yeah, Thursday yeah. night, Friday. So it's a good one to, to check in the weekend. And uh, how do you think of watching it with kids? Actually, like they, Jeff, they enjoy Jeffrey's it. Jeffrey's probably yeah, they fine. enjoy it. Charlie's a little young. I think she just doesn't care. Like, it's just not car- It's, it's kind of like background noise. Yeah. I mean, he, he kind of, so is he, he's a little older, so he... He tunes in when there's when there's a action. action scene. Okay. Yeah, but then if they're just talking, he's out. He's doing whatever. Out. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Well, until next time, I'm Chip. I'm Cern. Cheers. <laughs>